and the situation continues to remain tense in Nagaland and, it, and Dimapur over the lynching of a rape accused last week. While the curfew was relaxed till noon in Dimapur today, protests rage in Gohati Assam. The Home Minister too has been briefed on the situation and may speak on the issue in Parliament today. Nagaland police has also submitted its report in the case. The report says that the police tried to rescue the accused but were overwhelmed by the huge angry crowd. The police further claims that since the crowd had many women and children, they showed restraint but opened fire when there was no other option. And that, by the time additional security came in, the accused had died of his injuries. Meanwhile, 22 more people have been arrested in the Dimapur mob lynching case. With the latest arrest, the total number of those held has gone up to 43. The Nagaland government has blocked the internet, social media and SMS for the next 48 hours. The situation in Nagaland is still limping back to normal, but to talk on different issues, we have with us a variety of section of people who would brief us on what does Nagaland and people of Nagaland think about the incident that has sent simmering headlines across the country. We have with us Bano Haralo, a social activist. Ma'am, give us an idea on what is the perspective of the people and what do they think about it now? I think the perspective of the people is that there's been outright condemnation on this crime, which is unprecedented in our state. And there is a deep sense of uh, regret, horror, shock that has been expressed. Uh, while uh, we still await that justice should be served uh, on the rape case, we feel that it's really unfortunate that this lynching in this manner has taken place. But at the same time, we also want to know at which point and how did these two issues, one, a social crime, rape, and one, a political issue of the illegal immigrant issue, which has been raising emotional sentiments here. How and when did these two issues get mixed up? Who raised it? And who incited this, uh, 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 took this incident of rape and merged these two issues together? Without a doubt, it has dented the image of uh, Nagaland. But what we wanted to say is that this is not Nagaland. This is only a small pocket of incident that happened, a horrific incident that happened. But the world is now looking at us, vilifying us as complete villains, complete barbarians, and we want to let the world also know that this is not true. We condemn it. The reality that not only the government of Assam, Nagaland, and other northeast states realize, but also the government of India realizes and takes immediate steps to ensure that the people of northeast feel safe, at least in their own country. With camera person Lalit Joshi, this is Manokya Loiwal in Dimapur, Nagaland for headlines today. <laughs>